Good evening. Today we're going to be talking about the application process for uh, the Karnataka CET architecture in 2020. Now, um, the premise of this webinar is that you have applied to a Karnataka CET cell and that you are uh, just following the process and you want to know what the next process is. So as of today, the, the Karnataka CET cell has just, you know, uh, given you the option to upload your documents. And a lot of parents and students have reached out to us asking how do we upload our docu documents? And once we upload our documents, what are the next steps? What do we need to prepare for? So we're gonna be covering all of this in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Right, so the questions we are addressing in this uh, webinar is the what is the link? Where do we find that link and where do we upload our scorecards? So that is the first thing that we'll be covering. Subsequently, we'll be talking about filling up the form, um, the process for that, and the other questions that people may have, and how should what should I prepare for next? All right, or rather, what are the next steps? So we're gonna take this up. Now, the first thing that you need to know is that you need to go on to the official uh, Karnataka CET website, which is, which is uh, shown here. So very important that you go to this website and in the flash news as of today, you will see this particular um, link or, or news. And if you don't find it here, you'll find it at the bottom later, all right? But the point is, you click on this link, look for this particular information which says marks entry for uh, PU, CBSE, CIC students, and um, put in your username and password and the security card and you'll enter this page. Once you enter this page, the information that they ask you for is, is your board marks. Now, if you are a student of Karnataka, and if you are studying in the Karnataka PUC uh, or pre-university colleges, uh, if you study under that board, then you do not need to fill this form, all right, this part of the form. What you need to do is, uh, is just continue to the rest. But the students who are from CBSC or uh, ISC, um, they need to fill up their marks here, all right? Now, once you do that, I hope you have passed. Uh, so you select this, this drop down that says pass. And then of course you need to upload your uh, marks card, your PU marks card or whatever marks card you have. Now, some of you have reached out to us saying, I do not, do not have the final marks card. That's correct. You do not have it please reach out to your school, get an attested copy from your school um, so that you can upload it here. Now, the next important thing that you need to do is you need to click on this particular thing. Click on, uh, have you appeared for NATA or JE mains paper two? Do not click on no, click on yes, all right? Um, so I've highlighted it here because you need to be very much aware of this. Now, once you go to the next um, next part, once you click on yes, then you will reach the next part of the slide or this would, would open up, wherein you need to put in your NATA scores, uh, put in only of the higher of the two attempts so that you put it in here. And then uh, if you have answered JE paper two as well, put in that percentile, all right? very important that you fill this up carefully. Now, a lot of questions have come up to us saying, how do I, uh, which one do I upload? Do I upload my NATA or do I upload my JEE? Now, the instruction says, upload the NATA or JEE paper to a score, whichever is higher. Now, the problem is the JE paper two comes in percentile, NATA comes as marks. So um, for you to be able to identify which one is better, 
that is going to be a challenge. All right. So for those of you who have not taken up JE Paper 2, it's a straightforward thing. Just upload your NATA marks or vice versa. For those of you who have answered both and very clearly, like we have some students who've got like a 146 in NATA and a, and a 80 percentile in JEE Paper 2, um, then clearly the NATA score is a much better option. So you upload that. Uh, however, if there are some students who have say a 140 in NATA and a 90 six percentile in JE paper two, it's hard to really say which one is better. So uh, what we suggest is that you upload both scorecards. Now this gives you the option to only upload one PDF document. So what we want you to do is your NATA scorecard or your JE scorecard, if it comes as a PDF, convert it into an image file that's a, a PNG or a JPEG, put it onto a uh, a PPT, all right, and put, you can put them side by side or you can put them one over the other and then save that particular slide as a PDF, all right? So you have both your scorecards saved as a single image or a single PDF document and then you can upload it here. Put in this text, whatever the security text is, put it in and then proceed forward. Once you proceed forward, your marks will be recorded in the system uh, and then you can print the acknowledgement form. And if you are a student of uh, the PUC, Karnataka PUC, then these marks will show up as blank. But if you are a student of uh, uh, other boards, it may pop up. Uh, and you will also be able to see your your scorecards uploaded here. Your your uh, um, board marks as well as your NATA scorecard and J, J scorecard, all of that uploaded here. You will be able to see that. Of course, this is one above the other. I've just put it side by side for um, ease of this presentation. Now, uh, the next question that a lot of people have reached out to us for. I have not received the NATA 2020 scorecard of my second attempt. Yes, few students have not received their second attempt scorecards. Um, apparently, NATA should take another two to three days for them to release your scorecards. Uh, please send them an email and, um, and follow up with them. All right. But in the meantime, um, the Karnataka CT cell has not put in a deadline yet. So please follow the website, keep track of it and uh, then you know inform them that your scorecard has not come as well all right that would be very critical the next thing some of the students have reached out and said we have not applied for cet now what do i do so uh, if you have not applied for cet yet uh, that is a challenge because uh, the process requires you to apply for the for karnataka cet way ahead of time now, uh, last year, going by last year, um, the same thing happened to quite a few students. So uh, on, you know, on a special consideration, uh, the Karnataka CT cell reopened the window for a few days, one or two days, that's it. So please keep track of the CT website as well. Uh, what are the other documents required is another question that, I've, that we've got please go through the Karnataka CET cell brochure that you can get on the website. We hope you have it already. Otherwise, go to the website, get it from there, and you will get all the documents required there. Um, they say get it from a gazetted officer. Please reach out to your school. Find out who the gazetted officer is. Um, if you have reservations, if you come under reservation sports quota, um, PWD, you know, SC, ST, any of the reservation, get those documents in order. And then the next thing is during the counseling, what do we have to take? Do we have to take originals? I'll come down to that. Okay. Uh, uh, it's covered in this next session, section. What should I prepare for next? So number one is you upload your scorecards on the KEA websites. Number two, 
plan very well for this. Your Karnataka city architecture rank list will be announced. Keep an eye out for this. Once your rank is announced, please be well prepared with this next point. I cannot stress harder on this. Um, what you need to do is um, create a list of schools as per your, your preference. Uh, do not mix it up. You can put in any number of architecture schools in Karnataka, but make sure the order is of your preference. Then comes the document verification and the payment of fees and the commencement of classes for the document verification once your school is assigned to you. Um, then you will get the you will be called for document verification where you'll physically need to take your documents, get it verified and move on to the payment of fees. All right. And then classes will commence. Now the timelines for all of these are not very clear, but uh, keep an eye out for that. Keep watching the websites and following both uh, following the websites. All right. Now, as part of the what should I prepare for next? plan your list of architecture schools in order of your preference all right we cannot stress on this how how important it is a lot of students every year mess this up they put in a random order of schools and then they um, you know get get a school that um, they would have got you know they would they would have not preferred or preferred as a next option now uh, to help you with this please go through this particular link. Uh, this is on our YouTube channel. And this, this YouTube channel has a whole webinar which I've conducted earlier, which says Architecture 2020 Next Steps. Please go through that in detail. It'll give you a lot of ideas. Um, also in this playlist, there is there are about 17 schools, architecture schools or interior design schools uh, that we have we have um, interviewed, we have met with the managements and uh, uh, we have conducted live webinars. So go through this, it will give you a great idea of how you should be selecting your schools and which are the schools that you sync up with. Uh, do remember to sign in when you uh, watch this, this playlist. Also subscribe to the DQ Labs YouTube channel, which is very important. Uh, should you need to connect with us. We are always ready to help you out. Uh, whether you are a student of DQ Labs or not a student of DQ Labs, please feel free to WhatsApp us, email us, SMS us, and um, we will be happy, or just call us, and we would be happy to address your concerns. Um, do follow us on Instagram, dqlabs underscore Bangalore, or you can put dqlabs underscore any of these cities, uh, and you'll reach that particular uh, Instagram page. You can also follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash dqlabs. We hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much. And please like, comment, and, um, and share this video.